this entire riding experience is stressful, uh, stressful, peaceful, quiet, very pleasant, hot, 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 very hot, burning, rainy, sunny and rainy at the same time, bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. The only thing I will never ever miss about Mexico is these freaking speed bumps everywhere. Hola a todos! I've been here in Cancun for three days now and to be completely, completely honest to you, this city does not interest me that much. I've been just hanging out with my couchsurfing friend. <laughs> nice! Woo! Hi, Ali. Hi. Tell us about yourself. Okay, I'm an architect. I'm 20, 29 years old. Uh -huh. um, i super social. I like travel. I like meet people like you. I believe in this support when mm -hmm. travelers, when we go to the other place. The uh -huh. dogs hanging out. Let me show you the dogs. Wait, wait, yeah, wait. Yeah. wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hello, doggos. Look at them. And these guys old and then let them blind. Oh my goodness! Hi, hi, hi! Uh, 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 uh! So excited! Well, I want to say a huge thank you for hosting me <laughs> and for taking me to the airport and picking me up. That's very precious. Session. Anyway, today is my last day here in Mexico, and I really want to make the best out of it. So I rented a bike, and I'm just biking around. I don't have a destination or a point to reach. I'm just gonna be biking for hours and hours. So come join me. you can find a random single shoe okay guys I love Google Maps and Google Maps saved my life for so many many times but please don't tell me to like head east and turn west in a quarter of a mile like who knows that seriously like who knows that the reason why I'm not a big fan of this place is that it's very expensive and everything is built for a tourist. There are some really nice beaches that are private property and local people cannot enter there, which is a shame. This could be anywhere. I mean, look at this. This could be like any other beach town. There's no authenticity. Authenticity? Authenticity? <laughs> How do you say that word? Anyway, you get my point. Authenticity? I'm seeking for a culture and authentic, right? Authenticity? I am still enjoying these beautiful views though. I guess what I'm saying is that if you're looking for some kind of holiday getaway and you wanna like leave your busy job behind and relax, this is a very, very nice spot to visit. But that's really not what I'm looking for right now. <laughs> Guys, I found this book on a coffee shop shelf. You can definitely tell that this was owned by a Spanish-speaking person who wanted to learn English because it has some highlights and stuff. But the funniest thing about this book is that in the beginning, this person was very motivated and I have a sense that it was a she. So she has all these like highlights here and you know, she's really into it. And as you turn pages, you can see that she starts to lose the interest and then she just gives this book to the coffee shop. <laughs> it's funny, like we can all relate to this person. She has all these translations here from Spanish to English, but look at this sentence. I have learned that no matter how much I do, some people are just assholes. <laughs> what? Since it's my last day here, I really, really want to have some like very authentic street Mexican food. And I'm just gonna go to a mercado and try my best to find something plant-based or vegetarian. So wish me luck. She 
she's from Chiapas where I lived for almost eight weeks and she didn't have anything vegetarian in her original menu but she still somehow fixed my plate and it's delicious and I'm loving it I'm very happy I was really really hungry and for dessert I'm gonna have a fresh coconut fresh coconut oh my god the sunset destination it's super windy but very beautiful and this is a very uh, fancy neighborhood here's where I get melancholic that morning, I said goodbye to my dearest friend, Tane. We've been on many crazy adventures together. To see him packing up and leaving felt like the end. The end of something really big. I did not capture this on video, but I cried my eyes off on that beach that afternoon. I was crying because, like everything else, this wonderful chapter of my life was going to the finish line, too. It was not necessarily an unhappy moment. I was simply carrying a lot of emotions. Tears just found their way out to liberate me from the heaviness. This was not a regular sunset for me. It felt like a metaphor of human fate. No matter how big we dream, we are still caged in space and time. Everything great comes to an end and there is absolutely nothing we can do about it. The sun will set, tomorrow morning you take that flight, and this will be a distant memory soon. People in your town will ask how your trip went. Even though you have million things to share, you will only say it was great. Because no matter how much you try with words, it's extremely difficult to express what it means to be truly, truly free. Thank you, Mexico. You will always have a special place in my heart. And I will carry the love of your warm-hearted people everywhere I go in this crazy world. <laughs>